Well, good afternoon. It's May the 1st, 1977, and I'm standing in Olivet Street at the People's Festival. It's a lovely sunny day. We had a bit of rain. It's about five minutes past five, and the sun's about 30 degrees up in the sky. Lovely day here. Lots of people taking photographs. I'm going to go around interviewing people, find out what they've been doing here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, now. Well, what have you been doing today? What's your name? Eating. Eating? You're, you're eating, are you? I'm eating. You're, <laughs> you've been I've dropped my baked potato. Also. Where do you live? Where, Where do I live? Yes, uh, Beaumont Road. Beaumont Road. Is that yes. round here? Uh, no, Wimbledon. Wimbledon? Yes. Oh, so you heard about the street festival here? Oh, yes. Friends of ours told us. Oh, yeah, number I see. I'm yeah. just going around interviewing for People's Radio. We'll be rebroadcasting this in uh, about half an hour, I should think. Yeah. Really? Okay. Oh. oh, now, here's an interesting person. Now, what's your name, sir? <laughs> No, 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 no. And, and ladies and gentlemen, we've got here, we've got, we've got John Gutton here. Hello? For two hello? Pm, you can win it. Hello, now, who's with Helen in good hands? Yeah. Yeah. Ingrid like here, looking absolutely Not resplendent right here, in a sort of uh, mid-European sort of... Chris, I'm twins. And she's got a uh, hair in pigtails, and she's got this cake. She's just yes, taken 2p yes. of John I'm Gutton. I'm giving the cake to the pop star. And oh, course, guess yeah. I didn't know I had to do anything. And there's... Um, Young lady here taking Morag. down Morag, taking down um, the, the weights. Yeah. I see. And she's just written down John G, who was the guy who was giggling earlier, folks. Had to finish giggling. He says three, three and a half oh, pounds. Four pounds. Oh, well, is that miles out? Yeah. 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 Now Chaz has got the cake. Imagine what, going away Imagine what some sugar weighs. <laughs> I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Really nice. I was going to say three, but then I just, John, then John I, got I, it said three pounds. No, but I mean, if it's with the plates, it's is it? With the oh, it's not with the plate. Oh, three. 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 No, we shouldn't. I thought, I thought you said it counted the plate. No, it didn't. Three pounds. Seems to be some argument here, ladies and gentlemen, about whether the weight of the cake includes the uh, weight of the plate or not. Now, Chad is getting out his purse. Yes, and he's, yes, he's got 3p, but how much is... Henry is going to, uh, oh, test the cake. Trust, did you say 4 pounds? Albert's just handed uh, Chaz a cigarette, I think it's a cigarette. No, I just go, I'm, I'm really must move on, people. Um, what was that? I heard Chaz say thank God for that. Oh, Brett, Brett, but a few words for people's radio. What have Certainly. you been doing today? I've been looking about, you know, this That's, and the other. Now, Brett is standing in front of me on this lovely sunny day here on the uh, 1st of May at the Olivetti Street Festival, and he's got the most enormous wad of green, green lads. one, green lads, green boys, one pound note, and he's counting them out. goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, three hundred, four hundred. <laughs> This is all contributions towards my holiday fund, which I should be taking tomorrow. Uh, where are you going on holiday? Mascot Road. Mascot oh, Road. Uh, see, I have been about. there before. Twelve quid, yeah. Well, how's the yeah. toffee apples been going? Toffee apples, yes, how's the toffee Topped apples up. going? Any complaints yet? No complaints yeah, yet. Yeah. Except, why can't you eat the sticks, Henry? Oh, huh? Well, I keep charging oh. them extra. What, if they eat the sticks? No, if they get the sticks. I'll give them a bonus. Let them eat the sticks for free. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you've been having a good time. Anything else that's been interesting you've been doing? Oh, that, that looks like Joan over there. I must talk to Joan and see what Joan's been doing. Hello, there, a few words for People's Radio. What have you been doing today? Um, having a happy time, thank you. <laughs> well, you know, you, let me see if I can describe this to the listeners. What have we got here? Yeah, she's wearing this... Um, and what kind of fabric is that on your trousers? Oh, it's the best lurex. <laughs> yes, lurex. It's sort of silver, silver on the black... Uh, they had incredible, and then it's sort of mm, <laughs> silk, it's silk, is that top silk, it's silk, isn't it? And her face, his face is covered with, uh, it looks as if she's had a, a head in a flower bag. Now, um, Karina here is discussing the biasing of the popcorn. No, wrong Karina, Karina. Yes. yeah. What have you been doing today, Karina? Me on that one. Oh, you're Karina, what's that like? You're this Karina. Um, uh, K-A-R-I-N-A. Oh, we've got two Karinas here, ladies and gentlemen, standing by the popcorn. Uh, what? Who wants popcorn? 
have you been doing the day at Karina? Trying to make popcorn. Wait, 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 popcorn. We make one lot. How much, mate? Uh, five for your bag, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't I it? Don't know. <laughs> Anybody got any bags? Five for your bag. Anybody got? What? Oh, I know what you need. No. Oi! I think. Oi! I've got an idea. Ah, I've got a good idea. Get, get a cup and have a penny a cup or something, eh? Or two a cup. Get a cup. And you can have it two a cup instead of a bag. And people, people keep out. Well, then who's this? Have you worked for People's Radio? I'm just going around taking nothing. What have you been doing today, Pat? Leaning about, as everyone Leaning else has been. What time do you get here? About one o'clock. It was raining a bit earlier, wasn't it? When you get caught in the rain. They're down to the final of our competition. We're having it oh, now, Martin's you see, because the kids got to go away. Now. Oh, leave me out now. You sure? You can right win a bottle of homebrew. Martin's Jubilee homebrew. Oh, yeah, about competition. competition. Now, what You're competition, the only adult Martin? Martin, could you tell us oh, about the competition, please? <laughs> People's Radio, a few words. <laughs> A few words people's radio about the competition. Oh, I'm the only one who got through. Just, um, well, it's just a competition where you've got to get a hole, a ball through a hole. Yeah. That's all it is. Oh, I see. And um, the kids love it, so uh, they're the ones that are playing it. Oh, oh that's that's well, you, you've got to come on. Look after it, have you? You've got, you've got a hand of football, aren't you, Pat? <laughs> Great, OK, I'll leave you to it and move on. Oh, now here's a familiar face. This is Mooney. A few words of people's radio, Mooney. What have you been doing today? What time did you get Drinking here? brandy with Fred. <laughs> I know what you mean, man. I uh, do know what you mean. Now, we're, um... Here's Henry come in. Hello, Henry. What have you been doing today? Well, oh, I've been doing all sorts of things, mainly. I've got a bubble machine, which I notice isn't working. It needs a charge of, uh, of fluid or something. Oh, here comes Henry. What are you doing today? <laughs> oh, I've just been fixing up people's radio. Yeah. Have you? Well, you must have some bubbles. So I'm now going to gargle with some brandy, Henry. Oh, Hold on a moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, I should put some more oh, a little bit of brandy. How about for your, how about for your roving uh, radio uh, recorder? Hmm? For your radio recorder. <laughs> Raven radio. Oh, hang on a moment. Here comes Henry. <laughs> what have you been doing today, Henry? Oh, I've been working on bubble machine today, Henry. Henry. <laughs> Oh. oh, hello. Right. Two young, ladies. <laughs> young ladies here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing a spot here for People's Radio. And, um, yeah, People's Radio, just for the street here. We'll be rebroadcasting it in half an hour. So I'm just going for the Now, what's your name? Elaine. Elaine and... Karina. No, I know your name. What have you been doing today? What time did you get here? Huh? What time did you get here? Me. Just a minute ago. Just a minute ago. Didn't no, get I got in about, about one. Oh, see, we started about, oh yeah, we started about them, and it started raining, thought it would be a bad um, thing, but it looks okay, and there's quite a lot of people here, how many people do you say here today? I don't know, loads. But turn out, it's not as good as last year though. Oh. Where, where do you live? Do you live around here? Yeah? I live oh. down that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid our listeners can't tell which way you're pointing. Uh, I live, I don't live, over to the, the to, other end, the You live towards the, the Chinese end. takeaway, yeah. and yeah. I live and the lane lives. The most lacy heating, yeah, they're yeah. the off-licence, yeah. Lacy heating. Okay. You're in the New York. Huh? Yeah. It's not around there. Now, here's a lucky dip going. Now, just move over to the lovely dip. Thank you very much, ladies. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Half an hour or something. Are you living out? Yeah. Hello, now, I just moved up to the, it's the apple dip. Now, I wonder if... Uh, you see Ross Duffy having a go. He's paid his 2p. Go on, Ross. Hands behind the back. Oh, you know, Ross Duffy yeah, here has got a toffee time. apple in his right hand. Oh, yeah. Now, Joan, who's uh, supervising this particular sideshow, oh, okay. is... Uh, <laughs> right. You can have one. Difficult. I know. I mean, really? Now, he's got his hands behind his back, and he's trying to pick and an apple up out of a Halfords, a blue Halfords box. First go, go on. Henry, what are you doing? I'm recording for People's Radio. Oh, that's the first go. I'll have another dip. Yeah, but it's the three. <laughs> that's your second dip. Now take a deep breath, Rose. This one's going up. I know. I get it. Have one more go. That's that one. You've got to put your head right in, son. You must be joking. Go on. Yeah, you can say anything because it's got it in his mouth. Actually, can you reach it now? Uh, no, yeah, you can have it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Oh, so what do you think of that, Ross? Uh, much more difficult than it looks, eh? Yes. <laughs> now, it's, um, they're no, it's right. now, but 
here, just carrying out a column here from my placard. It's a coffin, actually. It's a coffin, and you're carrying it to this oh, well, lovely Al stage. Here, no, I said Albert's coffin. I'm walking up with them, walking up the street here, and they're carrying to carry it onto the stage here, which has got some carpet Tricky in stage. Down. Tricky stage, yes. We just moved underneath the canopy, and they're putting it up in the far left-hand corner. Now, it's all right now. It says when. Oh, it's one of Lynn's speakers, isn't it? Lynn from Olivet Street, who uh, today is donating or providing the equipment for the stage here. Many thanks to Lynn. I think these lads are marvellous here, humping all this gear up. Albert says he's going to get a chair down to put the um on. <laughs> Hello, oh, hello, Paul. I'm How just you, uh, recording for people's radio here. Oh. Well, well, what have you been doing today? When oh. did you arrive? You're yeah, Paul. It's May Day. <laughs> yes, yeah, we had our May Day festival here. We sort of had two <laughs> uh, people, but we've had a little bit of rain and uh, it's. Uh, anyway, everything's going out. See, the bubble machine is working. You see how oh, it's better? Very nice, yeah. Uh, yeah. But it, um, what do you think of all this? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you look stoned. I am. You look stoned out of your head. Where Pretty will it be? stoned. Stoned, yeah. yeah. I see. Right. Started early. You know, had a pipe this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I must interview Neil. I think what Neil's doing. He's doing something with darts oh, over here. Now, I'm just moving over to, to just to the right of the stage here. We've got a, a dartboard on the uh, back door. And a kid here is having a go with the darts. I'll just try and get the sound for you. I don't know if you heard that. He got uh, an 11 there. 11 about... Um, oh. Now Neil is running a stall. I said, and he just got handed out a toffee apple. Oh. What are you doing here today now? Making money. Millions. <laughs> Cleaning up. Oh, that's quite good. Kid there just got 17 and 15. Oh, and he hit the door. I don't know if you heard that, listeners. And nearly, he's got a cardboard box with some apples, some uh, a banana, and um, a pear in. Oh, what's your name? Michael. Michael, where do you live, Michael? <laughs> then a road. Are you any good at darts? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just for calling no, these people earlier, right? Like, these kids, these, these lads here really can be really into this. I'll have a go. Well, what your name is? Uh, Fred. Oh, no. Fred, you're Fred. <laughs> Fred, Fred, you're uh, junior darts champion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I'm Fred, Fred. Fred. Now Fred has got I'm his three I'm darts in his hand. I'm after him. I'll play one three. All right. I'm the Yugoslavian <laughs> darts champion. I'm after Stephen. <laughs> what's, this, what's all this cater then? I'm after him. That was too early. Were you going to take mine? What did you do then? Uh, well, I put two in the 13, which is a very good score. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a uh, very high class for my standards. Oh, it blew it up. That's really good. I missed many... comments. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's quite, he's quite a, a precocious lad there. I think he'd go for. Now we've got uh, Mo here. She's climbed onto a pair of stilts. Mo. No, yeah. come on, tell us what you're doing here. Well, I think I'm going to make a fool of myself. Oh! <laughs> 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 well, Mo just had not done She's on a tool <laughs> stool and she's just getting on some stilts and she's panic, fell over. I think I might be freaking around a bit. Hello. Talk to the stilts. Talk to the stilts. It's Dave Thorne here. Hello, Dave. Nice to see you here today. What time did you get here? What time did I get here? Half an hour ago. Half an hour ago. So you I missed the rain, the best part of the rain. I missed the rain, yes. I'm waiting for the music now. She's doing well, she's isn't she? She's doing well. She's just made... Mo has just <laughs> climbed off a stall and gone walking off down the road on a stilt. She's a good ten foot away. It is quite incredible. Now, how has she done that? That was very good. I really didn't think she would get that together. Oh, John Bo. Oh, hello, yes. What have you been doing today? Well, I've been having a wonderful day today, taking all these wonderful photographs. Oh, uh, lovely people. Oh, yes. They are such, <laughs> such pretty people they are, they are today. Oh, they're so beautiful. Uh, have you seen that man over there with the flowers in his hair? Daffodils, aren't they? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, he's, the, he's the pancake man he is. And Mo is still walking off down the street on yes, those stilts. She's doing very well. She, she she is doing very well. I, I, I have an idea that maybe she's never walked on stilts before. So I do believe that this has been recorded on the radio. Now. Yes, that's right. People's Radio. People's Radio, Olivet Street. Yes, we must get across. People's Radio, Olivet Street. Yes. 
Yes, well, here on this day of uh, May Day, you know, which is, uh, which is, of course, the traditional day for the working class, for the working classes to yeah. express themselves and enjoy the solidarity. Themselves. Yes, yeah. I think that. Oh, of course, we have, we have here, we have amongst our myths some of the counter revolutionaries. Ah, yes, the reactionaries. Yes, the reactionaries, petty bourgeois, indeed. Must go by its slide, isn't it? Yes, yes, that's right. Petty bourgeois. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Petty bourgeois. The Mo has not come down from her stilts yet. She has started on her way back. She's a good 20 foot away from me at the moment. And she looks as if she's coming back. I don't know quite what she's been doing. She, she looks very worried. I just, come, I just walk up to her, listeners, and get an on the spot interview. Oh, I've been up here for three days now. <laughs> I'm going to have to come off sometime. <laughs> Well, I think I think I think, I think I think I think there, with listeners, we have a most remarkable young lady. A most remarkable young lady. I want to talk to you. Um, can I put some sounds on? Some people have been asking me to put some sounds on. Oh yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just some straight sounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, where are the radios? Why don't they all come well, for the radio? I'm, no, I'm in through the radio, but it's it's coming out very bad. Yeah, well, we ought to get more radios up. There's some transistor radios around the street that aren't being in use. John Burke's got one, and there's. Because I think we ought to try and get the one system go, you know, going well, you know. It's mainly a case of everybody getting their radios on. Yeah, yeah you put some sounds on if you like. Do do thing, I'm just recording this, I'll be playing this later. Okay, well, 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 now who have we got here? Well, 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 I didn't well, recognise well, you for a moment. I think it's Bell, isn't it? No, Bell, radio. <laughs> Oh, well, I can see we've got a live comic here. Now, I really don't know how to describe these two young ladies, because we've got, we've got Belle here, we've got Cathy here. And I'll just ask you, what have you been doing today? Not doing radio. <laughs> All right, Cathy. Rocky. Hello, Rocky. Oh, you work for People's Radio. No, come on, Rocky. Say, say, <laughs> say something on the platform. You go on bashful. Rocky is definitely bashful. No <laughs> microphone radio. Is he certain? No, microphone? Henry, radio. <laughs> oh, well. I, um, what have you been doing? I've been fixing up Bubble Machine, I've been fixing up the People's Radio Station, I've been, uh, surf running, and, oh yeah, the Toffee Apple, the Toffee Apple, it was yeah, last night, and, uh, Didn't you see the play? Like, the play? No, I'm too busy, it's terrible, I've been having the work Listen, all the time. Listen, I thought you go and interview my mum. Where is your mum? She's over there, sitting on the, on the window. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm just walking over to Cathy's mum. Is this Reed, is it? No? Oh, that's funny. Sorry. Oh. Is it Mr. Reed here? Sorry, I, 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 I'm very sorry. sorry. Um, now, um, I'm, I'm just um, going around here recording for posterity and for people's radio, because we've got our people's radio transmitting here. We'll be replaying this in now. What do you think of this, Mrs. Reed? I think it's fabulous. Uh, Are you smart? What time did you come here? <laughs> not long ago. Not long ago. You didn't, didn't see the rain, though, because you had a little bit of rain earlier, yeah, which... Uh, so I came after that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Now, have you been on any of the side shows? Have no. You? There's Neil over there with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> a lucky dip over there. Lots of fun from all of us. <laughs> she, she looks lovely, doesn't she, Kate? Yes. Are you a... teaching her to be tidy? Um, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm the old man. I'm, I'm living in this house. There's three girls. I have to keep them under an iron... Uh, no, four girls, you see. And really? About four children. I have to keep them under an iron... You've uh, got your hands full. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, she did very bad at first. She used to use the underside of her bed as an ashtray, you know. No. She did, yes. You don't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> but she's, uh, she's coming along. I'm sort of, uh, you know... Have you taught her to cook? Well, I, I, I was talking to what we do the other day. We, um, she can do cheese on toast. So I believe. <laughs> Oh, here's, thank you very much, Mrs. Reed. Hello, what have you been doing today, Maria? <laughs> it's not on, is it? Yes, it's on. It's People's Radio. Just recording uh, for posterity and all that. We'll be rebroadcasting later on in the evening. Well, ma'am, I just had this long mark of solidarity with our um, fellow workmen. Hello, um, Toffee Apple. Very noisy here. I'm not sure we're picking all this up. It's uh, so Bit loud. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Raymondo. Hello, Raymondo. Hello, Henry. Radio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hello, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feels a bit of a question, aren't you? Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Well, I can talk about the weather. We can talk about it. Have you had anything to drink? Have you tried one of the toffee apples? They were just standing by the toffee apple stall. Yeah. Oh, tried yeah. in the side shows him. Tried to um, kick the football through that hole over there? Or? No. Usually you know, fall through holes, Henry, mate. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I might go by the wall there. Maybe I'll just stand there. I'll just see the front of the really? cider. <laughs> Michael, what are you selling here then? Would you like a nice toffee apple, Henry? Are you looking to make a toffee apple or a nice piece of pie? Is that, have you only got two left? Two toffee apples. Who wants these last two toffee apples? Yes, sir. No, thank you. All right. Oh, have you still got any drinks there? We have some orange juice and four beer glass. I can't see any. Ah, oh, it's in that um, oh, orange container. Oh, I see. I'm not sure I've got any um, funny here. I hope you're not... Uh, 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 no, I just switched the microphone off, folks. Well, I'm just switching the microphone on again. I'm at Michael's uh, orange stall here, and he's just giving me some change. I think, hang on, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, uh, 6. Right, we've sold salad. Can I have it? Yes, uh, baked potatoes, toffee apples, glasses of uh, orange juice, bits of fudge, guaranteed to give you two for <laughs> I'm sure you want some fudge, Harry. Because they're very low with the orange juice. Who wants these last two toffee apples now? I made the toffee apples myself, they're quite, they're quite it's heavy. That's why you don't want one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you heard people's radio? People's street radio? No. No? No? Yes. Do you want somebody oh, to say hello, something? Elliot. Hello, Elliot. Hello, Henry. What's to your face, Elliot? To my what? Your face. <laughs> face? Face. Face. Yes, it looks a little bit black. <laughs> yes, it was a little bit How did you get that? How did you get marvellous matte black uh, effect? It's, I woke up this morning. Well, I woke up this morning. <laughs> with black all over my face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you doing here? You're collecting here, some I'd names like and numbers. Here, I'd like to guess how many beans are Oh, the you're doing the bean bottle. Where, where is the bean bottle? Oh, oh, you're actually running a side show here. I'll tell you how many there are. So far. There are... You don't have to speak so close. Five. Well, how many? Five people. That's yeah. good. How many did it go? Oh, five feet. Five. It's a thousand. They're all around about a thousand. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid that um, I, I don't know if I can make a guess myself because I was there while they were being counted. Oh, uh, oh yes, I really ought I to put the it. music's too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Joan says music's too loud. Um, let's see uh, Jim about that. Yeah, let's see him there. Oh, no, I'm just going out to Dizzy Dave, who's... Um... Hello, your name, please? You heard people oh, radio. My name is Oscar Livingstone Hindquarters. Hindquarters? Yeah. What, what do you think the music's a bit loud, Dave? Pardon? Do you think the music's a bit loud here? Yeah. speak up a little, I can't hear you. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I think that the uh, agrees the music's a bit loud here. Yeah. Because we're, we're standing right outside Jim's here, standing just about ten foot away, and he's got his windows open, and it's pretty loud. And so it's all in a bit, not so bright. We're going to edit the highlights of this, aren't we? Oh, yes, yeah, so we read more cards in uh, some of them. Tell me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Higgins. My name is uh, Henry, yes. Yeah. Right, Henry Higgins. No, tell me, Mr. Henry, um, will we be able to see anything of this uh, afterwards? See anything of what? Well, that woman undressing over there, for instance. Oh, look at that. Oh, I say. Oh, she's got body bumps. Is she a friend of yours? Oh, wait, what? The woman undressing over there? I don't think so. Not if she's undressing over there. Oh, that's she's found a mole bump. I reckon she's a squatter. She's got no bones. She's going around undressing everywhere. It's all the same, isn't it? Now, what's your name? Um, Nelly uh, Yatchford. Nelly Yatchford. Where do you live, Nelly Yatchford? Uh, Where do you come from? The Outer Hebrides. Outer Hebrides. Is that very far from Lacey Road? Um, well, you take the A22 down to uh, Bogner and you turn left on the uh, 254. I see. So it's not exactly local, then? No, not, not local. Don't you get a bit pissed off for doing this all afternoon? Me? Yeah, I've only been doing it a short time. Hi, my name's Henry and I'm just on this day. This is May Day. Uh, people's... Um, Festival in Olivet Street, and I just go around interviewing people and trying to get some of the feel of the thing. And uh, of course, we've got our transmitter up there, and the Ruby Reef broadcasting. I'm just trying to go around collecting people on tape. Hang on, Bill. I'll give you a roll up. Turn the thing off. Turn it off. No, no. Oh, no, I'll roll up. Sorry.
Uh, and Mick has just walked up. Mick the dog, who I might say is a dog, um, has just walked up and he just dropped a stick at my feet if he wants me to pick it out. So here are Mick. I'll uh, just pick that stick and I'm going to throw it down the There it goes, Mick. Yes, and he's after the stick. He's got it. He's overshot it a bit. He's got it. He's picked it up. Picked it up on his um, thing. Oh, hello, Mick. That is really good. Okay, Mick. Right. Now, Mick, have you a few words for the people to read you? <laughs> Well, here, folks, I'm just, uh, I'm just sucking up the atmosphere. The atmosphere here is absolutely incredible today. <laughs> Thank you. Well, your name is? Rob. 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 Rob just giving me a roll-up, no, listeners, so it should keep me going. Because I've had this tape recorder on all the time. I have to talk non-stop, except when I just stopped a minute to go over at Mick's stool to get... Uh, the drink. Now, I didn't scroll um, on, I don't know what it is, it's a C. Well, I'm not halfway through this side, anyway, I'm afraid I can record some more. I just hope the batteries are good, or else we'll be very, have a lot of round flutter on the thing. Now, we've got somebody from uh, uh, Wales, well, he used to be at Wales, and has since moved to number five, um, Mascot Road. Um, Searching for the right people. <laughs> And uh, she just moved off, but she won't elude me. Oh, no. Hello, Mrs. Jones. You were for People's Best Radio. If you don't mind. Oh, Miss Jones. Thank you. If you, if you were for People's Radio. Right. What do you want me to say then? What have you been doing today? I've been eating all the food, and I've just been walking around having a little look. Um, <laughs> that's about all. Well, can you describe the scene, what you're looking at, to the listeners? Hectic. No. What particular aspect is very hectic? Um, well, those for a start, and they no, go... No, it's what? I'm afraid the, the, the listeners can't the, the see. The bubbles up in the air keep going in all the pancake mixture all the time, and in the popcorn. Oh, they do look nice, don't they? Oh, they look lovely, yes. They look very nice. That's Angie up there. I don't think I've interviewed Angie yet. Where's Angie? She's look, <laughs> looking, like, looking at the bubble machine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, you better not go up there. You don't know what they might be doing. Right, I said my say now. But oh, thank you very much, uh, Miss Jones. Thank you, that's all right, Mr. Otani. <laughs> the interesting thing about walking down on the Street today, listeners, is there are so many people here, but it's very difficult to recognise some of them because some of the fancy dresses here are really quite incredible. The, the atmosphere here is re completely uh, indescribable. I cannot get over to you. The atmosphere here now. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Mister. What's your name? I've, I've seen you before around here. Sheila. Hiya. Sheila. 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 Hey, you're from Australia, aren't you? No. Ealing. Huh? Ealing. 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 Oh, somebody's just turned out the noise again. I, I'm afraid we won't be getting through much of this unless we holler. I had to move to a pretty quiet place, I'm afraid. Yes, it's completely indescribable. I've just moved out. I've just moved out to Scott Billy here. Now, Scott Billy, what's all this rouge on your face? Now? Have you been fighting with the landlord of the half moon again? No comment. <laughs> no comment. Next. What have you been doing today? No comment. Uh, think of a number. Any uh, number three, one and ten. Ten. Correct. Right. <laughs> Any number. Are you doing anything this evening? Are you being master terminus? Well, show? it depends what Jealous wants me to do with her. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm, I'm at the end of Olive Red Street here by the shop. The Trooper's Tent. Erected a stage. No, it's the Trooper's Tent. Oh, That's where you go there. Because watch out for the, bro the brown acid. The brown acid's rubbish. Don't take any of the brown acid, right? Because it's really bad. Well, you're not comparing this evening. No, I'm not comparing anybody with anybody. <laughs> I wouldn't do it because it's... People may get to find out. <laughs> Well, there you are. Have you tried any of the side shows yet? How about well, the motorcycle still jump? Still standing here. I'm about to try in a minute, actually. <laughs> How do you feel about the motorcycle jump? <laughs> what? What? Jump, the, jump down the motorcycle. What, the Irish man driving the bus over 13 motorcyclists. <laughs> well, I don't think it'll work. <laughs> uh, Justin, have you had a few words of people's radio today? Really? I don't know. <laughs> 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 you don't see anything about me. Oh, is he your agent now? Yeah, he's my boy, JJ. <laughs> you want to ask him, yeah. You ask any questions you want to know about JJ, ask me, first, right? Ask one. Oh, 
Ask a question. Many questions. Well, what do you think of it? Uh, what do you think of the um, Justin? What do you think of the uh, atmosphere around here today? Justin doesn't want to see anything about that. Goes at the colonial. Next. Have you any yet plans for to bring out a, a new record in the uh, future? Justin doesn't want to talk about that at the moment. We don't know what. Trying to keep it a secret. Well, thank you very much, Justin. JJ. 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 Just not. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, JJ all these folks. JJ was with you all the way. Okay, well. All the way from all the way from Well, thank you very much, JJ, and uh, his manager, uh, Billy. Right, thank you. Um, <laughs> you have people's radio? Uh, what's your name? Ask him. It's Della. <laughs> Sweetie. Oh. Do you live around here? No, 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 no. Where do you come from? I come from Mars. From where? Well, that has been said before, though, isn't it? It's not really original. <laughs> Mars. Um, is that um, north or south London? Here, London? Notice that at no time will my hands leave my wrist. Think your number between one and ten. Any number. No, seven. Great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> can't pull one over on me. You're doing it. Oh, um, John Burke just come up to me. Hello, John. Yeah, I just wanted to know what time this was being broadcasted so we could... Uh, oh, I mean, probably in the evening or something. Oh, my son gave me back a penny. He's very honest, my boy. Yeah, that's beacon frequently. That bubble machine is... Uh, right I beat him all the time. <laughs> yes, it is. Brilliantly. It's now pouring down bubbles and couple holes there. Uh... Pancakes and popcorn. What's his name again? Um... Who? What name again? Bob's brother. Bob's brother? I don't know. You don't know. You must have it on, have you? Well, I'm just walking up to two lads over here, and this guy's got the most excellent sort of cowboy hat on. Okay. Name, please, people for radio. <laughs> Any name? Yeah, Paul. Paul and Rob Glenn. Yeah, where are you from? I know where you're from. Newcastle. You, you can tell us where you're from. Newcastle. What time did you get here today? We got here yesterday. Today? No, I mean, the street festival. Oh, yeah. 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 Did, you, did you know we were having a festival here today? No. No? What do you think of it all? Oh, it's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Paul Harbour keeping? Huh? Oh, it's Pearl Harbor, even. Pearl, ha Pearl Harbor? <laughs> oh, I'm still working on it. <laughs> toffee apples were, were went, um, by the way. I did, I did 49 toffee apples and we used black treacle instead of uh, uh, the uh, golden stick. Most of the records were made were uneatable, but <laughs> <laughs> they were all gone. Oh. So, have they done the main pole yet? No. I wasn't here earlier. I had, I had a few things to do. Oh. What's all this for then? What is it? We'll be broadcast uh, later. We'll be broadcast, just recording the feel of the thing and um, we be broadcasting, you know, people the radio. We've got all the radios in the street tuned into the radio transmitter, you see. We can be broadcast. No, I must call us more people. <laughs> but when's the van coming? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now here's um here's Brett and John Gotham walking up with a whole load of gear. Now excuse me, two words, what are you lads doing here here now? Look it looks as like if you're doing something to do with a musical performance this evening. Yeah, um, that's it. Mr. Gotham. Yeah. That's <laughs> my agent! <laughs> oh god! Oh! It's John G! John G, you're just about walking onto the stage now with some legs for the microphone. Well, it's very, very nice to make it today, John. Right. It, it is absolutely fan fantastic, uh, listeners. John is juggling with some um, legs off the microphone. He's warming up. I can see he's getting into the rhythm of the thing. He's got an incredible sense of time in this guy. Now, how long have you been doing this, John? Well, what do you what do you expect to put on this evening for the people? Have you got any uh, numbers worked out? Well, I'm playing down the Green Carnation. <laughs> You're all welcome down there. Roll up, spend your money. On a Sunday? Sunday evening. Sunday evening? Two nights. Oh. So you're going to be here, so you're going to be here for an early spot, are you? I suppose so, yeah. 
Oh, I'll twinkle okay. along with the game. Well, we're trying to get, so we've got another side of further tape on this uh, cassette, so we should be able to get your bit of you on. If you soon you start up pretty soon. So we can look forward to that, listeners. May Day, 1977, Olivet Street. The atmosphere here is uh, quite really ridiculous, the Fred just said over there. I, I can't quite describe it to you people. The weather here has been fairly good today. We had a little bit of sunshine earlier, but the clouds have uh, come over, but nobody seems to mind. A uh, lot of very peculiar people wandering around, loafing around. Uh, Brett's just taken out a lot of money. Now, what's all this money, uh, Brett? Oh, uh, it's a kind of decoration, Henry. Okay, um, we've been using some counters as wall decoration in our new I've been kitchen. Doing that for years. Yeah. That's not a chain thing. I don't know why it's a little bit. Freddie just come up. Oh. Fred, I don't think I've got you yet, have I? Sorry, no comment. No, no comment. And what's his 8030 doing? No comment. No comment. You're playing this evening, Fred. We've got it out no here comment. in the hope of it mating. <laughs> We're going to mate an 8030 <laughs> with a uh, <laughs> Fender Vibrolux. And we're hoping to come up with uh, the definitive combo. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to first of all make the electrics up, and then try and make the JBL speakers with the uh, with the 12-inch Goodmans. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. We're trying to uh, set up a amplifier farm. <laughs> Organically grown amplifiers. Maybe the whole wheat side of the spectrum. <laughs> now, perhaps you'd like to uh, experiment with our <laughs> microphone mating. <laughs> <laughs> well, well uh, uh, I really don't know how we can follow that, listeners. Oh, well. Yeah, we've got some really funny people around here. Now, let's see Margaret. Cheese and butter included. Uh, and you just come all, up all fucking Japanese pirates are bastards. <laughs> well, that was Mark, mate. They strangle you in dustbins well, and leave you. He's a punk rocker. punk rocker. He's a punk rocker, mate. Oh, look, and here's two young lads from Newcastle. Yeah, I'll pick their noses with bananas. Yeah, they, 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 they had a chat with us today. What are you doing here? Now, you're eating a potato. Where did you get that potato from? Yeah. From the food store. Is it any good? It's brilliant. Have you had a cock? A prick grown out your forehead. How long do you think it'll have to be before you can see it? Uh, just tell me. No, you tell me. Oh, I don't know. Uh, about uh, three months. No, how long? Because the balls are falling out. Well, this is very, this is very exotic, very, very exotic uh, humour. Ben, where did you get that apple from? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm just being called over by Billy here. Hello, Billy. somebody I've been looking for. Oh. Hello Mary. You work for People's Radio. I haven't, haven't recognised you. I've been lurking around here for the last half hour. And uh, well, how do you know it's me then? Well, I just realised it must be you because you're doing the pancakes. Okay. Uh, what, let me see, let me try and describe this. We've got, um, whose table is this? 
pull oh. that to the back. Well, anyway, we've got a table here, and we've got a little white um, two-burner two cooker, which has come out of Henry's yellow van. And, uh, and we've got the greatest pancake store in the United Nations. <laughs> Oh, this is Dave Dixie, who I've yet to interview. Now. Two frying pans down on the ground, plus pancakes in 15 minutes flat. Not bad, is it? And how's the cooker going? Oh, very well, thank it's going you. Very, very, very well, it's a, it's I'm finding the bubbles a bit of a tease. Yeah, well, well, the bubbles are due to the water. Can't do any bubbles are due to bubble machines. Oh, oh bubbles are due to the bubble machines. Well, it adds that spirit to it, you know. It gives it a bit of go. Somebody said earlier that the bubbles were interfering a little bit with the something. Now, uh, John Gotten's just got a comment. What was that, John? She's fucking mad. Well, I don't know. Oh, who's mad? Well, I couldn't say on tape, could I? Go on. <laughs> no, I can't. Come on, John. Let's hear it. Come on. Uh, only people ready. Uh, lad over there has just got a face full of water from the apple chip, I see. Uh, do you think I just go out and get a quick interview with him for the listeners here? Yeah. Um, I say, excuse me there. Excuse me. Excuse me. You have the people ready. Now, what you, you, this gentleman has got his com face and head completely covered in water because he's made the big dip into the apple. Now, what did you think of that? It was quite, it was quite exciting. Apart from the shops, it was quite quiet down now. Oh, do you live around here? Well, we, we come from a, a suburb not far away, called Beverly Hills. Oh, I see. There's a little girl there. There's, there's, uh... Yeah, Ruth decided to come with us today and uh, give her remarks on it. She's going to write it up in the, the column of the Daily Mail tomorrow. I see. Oh, so that's a competition. Ruth and their uh, top reporters. <laughs> Well, we should be listening to Radio London tomorrow to hear this interview. Yes, definitely. Well, uh, on people's radio, so it'll be on people's radio this evening. People's radio, 330 metres on the medium wave. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. And what would you like? Well, I, I guess I'm just um, recording for people's radio here at the May Day Festival on... I don't know whether my agent will say anything, I'm sorry, do you want to ask him? I'm not his agent, really, no. Well, well, what would you like him to say? Well, just about what you're doing, you know, when you well, 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 dropped in to see what was happening, yeah. you know. Obviously, the community has expected a lot more people. Yeah. Well, describe what you're saying here. Pardon? Describe what's going on. Describe, well, uh, it's quite quiet, it's quite quiet. Well, they're setting up some equipment, obviously someone's going to play soon. Mm -hmm. Reasonably well on. People are eating. Quite happy, having a good time. Yes, there could be more people here, though. I think. Yeah, maybe later. Well, I would say, I would say that there's about. Um, well, with children, there must be at least 16. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of kids. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there was some football here earlier. Are you sure there's a lot more people? No, I can hear Chad uh, warming up his electric piano there. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we might get some more people down later, you know. Mm. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> well, all right, yes. <laughs> Don't print my name. <laughs> <laughs> now, John Gardner here is, uh, I wondered what this display was. He's thrown some bags filled full of sand at uh, some uh, Paintings <laughs> popped up on some. This word now, Jane says. Uh, so what did she do then? Did you give him a refund there, Joe? Well, I was giving him his change. Oh, I see. And the object here is to knock down some tins, is it? Four cans, and you get five sacks to do it. And if you win, you get uh, an orange or an apple, or a banana or a pear. You like to go, Emmy. Come on, it's only three people. Well, I'm very busy here. Oh, 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 here's, 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 oh here's a lightning customer. Do a bit of training with you, uh, give me a pancake. Oh, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> the object there is to raise money. <laughs> okay, I'll do a trade then. I'll do just a bit of pancake. No, he might tell us what exactly yeah. what he's doing. And here he comes. He's got five bags in his hands. One. Uh, lift. Two. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> he's going wild. Oh, nearly there. How many did he get then? Four out of two. Two out of four. Oh, you have to take that pancake. 